go to Carolina. Proud to be a South Carolina farmer is a new series highlighting the backbone of America, farmers. We'll be traveling through the low country's back roads to show you an up close and personal view of their day to day lives. Farming is not just a job for these families, it is a way of life. Let's go to Carolina, we could start a new life. I'm Angela May with our special series, Proud to be a South Carolina Farmer, where we feature unique farms from across the state. Today we're going on a road trip to Gable, South Carolina to visit Door Farms, which was created in 1991 by Maynard and Marie Door and their two kids. On this farm, located just east of Sumter, they grow produce, they have honeybees, and they also raise turkeys for Lewis Rich. actually built it for like a little storage shed to store our hay and our stuff and whatnot for animals. And, uh, and then Corona hit, and that's what we were using it for, just a storage shed. And then when Corona come around, we had so many people, you know, didn't want to go to Walmart, didn't want to grocery stores. And, you know, we'd always grew a good bit of produce out here, and we just sold it under the picnic tables out here. You know, people would just come get what they wanted, or they'd come to the farmer's market on Friday that we have in town. And uh, we had so many, so many people coming out when the corona started. We decided to close this in and throw a little air conditioner in it and uh, kind of turned it into a store. Usually our morning time is to do this at the store right now because it's getting warm. And then it'll, you know, it'll die down soon. Yeah, people, people like getting out in the back where it gets too hot out here in these fields. That's it. People think of a lawyer, they picture someone in a flashy suit in a stuffy office. Well here's a picture for you. This is where I grew up. It wasn't always easy, but I'm proud of my humble roots. It's where I learned to work through the tough times and appreciate what I have. At the Joy Law Firm, we're helping people going through tough times of their own. If you've been injured, call the law firm that understands what you're going through. Just call Joy, 843-888-8888. Yeah, I mean, we were scared to start with, you know, what do we, what do we do? Um, I was staying home, um, you know, raising the two kids. And then, of course, my husband had, you know, an in-town job at a plant. And when he got laid off, it's like, okay, we just got this one little small area that we planted for a garden, you know, just for ourselves. And then Greg Harvey come in, which is our Clemson Extension fella, come in and say, hey, why not expand it? Let's go bigger. And I was like, might as well, we got the land out here. So we just grew, you know, a little long and long, and each year it's like we were able to sell or either get rid of what we had, had grown. So, I mean, we just continue to grow each time. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's challenging um, because, you know, you put it on the weather. You don't know what the weather is going to be like. You get a dry, you know, get a drought, and of course, you know, it's gone then. So, and it also depends, you know, how do you know that you're going to have customers come out here, you know, and, grow, and, and buy your stuff? So it's like, you know, it's, it's challenging, it's actually scary. All right, so our season starts in the, in the springtime, usually the end of March, 1st of April, with our you pick strawberries. And of course, um, the blueberries and blackberries come along shortly after that in June and July. Uh, we grow produce just about year round. In uh, October, we have what we call our, um, our farm days, which is um, we do the pumpkin patch, the corn maze, 
We do the hay rides. We have other animals brought in so the kids are able to see those. Um, we have extra activities going on here in the playground. We have food trucks come in. We have other vendors that come in and set up. On the very last Saturday of October, we do a big Halloween event out here for the kids. They're, they're able to come, they dress up, they just have, just have a ball. Um, our vendors come in and they pass out candy to the, you know, the kids that come through here. Um, that's usually like at the end of the day. Chris Brown from Holy City Brewing in North Charleston, and we are excited to be a sponsor of Proud to be a South Carolina Farmer. out here in the in the spring of 92 and I started you know did a little bit of farming with planting you know corn for deer hunters and uh, probably in about 95 96 we started growing you know produce just on a small scale and then probably I think in 99 or 2000 um, Greg Harvey the county agent at that time for Sumter County they were opening up a farmers market in Sumter and they were trying to find you know farmers that had produce that they could you know bring to the market and he always you know he knew I grew a good bit of you know produce and stuff and uh, he contacted me and at that time I was still working at a textile plant in Sumter and my dad he was retired so I sent my dad up dad up there with a truckload of produce and uh, at the end of the day it was gone Every, and we you know we weren't growing a lot and you know, we were picking maybe a couple bag of corn eight or ten watermelons you know a few tomatoes and stuff we were mainly growing for you know ourselves so we started selling it. <clears throat> that first year, you know, we done real good. You know, I think that was in 99 and in 2000, I said, well, we're gonna plant, you know, just for the farmer's market, you know, give him something to do and need a little extra income. So we started, you know, planting a good bit of extra stuff and done real good that year in 2000. And then in 2001, the textile plant that I was working at got laid, you know, got laid off. And uh, so when that happened, we kind of went into farming full time. We were, you know, planting corn, wheat, soybeans, you know, row crop and a couple hundred acres. And then we started, you know, with the produce pretty heavily. And then each year we'd add, you know, something different. And for, you know, the next eight, 10 years, you know, done real good with it. And then I think in 2011, we decided to start growing strawberries. So we, you know, planted strawberries and we, you know, to start with, we just sold them at the farmer's markets and grocery stores and places like that. And I think around 2012 or 13, we decided to open the farm up to a U-Pick operation and started inviting the public out, you know, to come pick. And at that, by that time, we'd already planted a blueberry orchard and had blackberries planted. And it turned into a, a, a full-time, all summer, summer long thing going on. And then I think in 20, 2018 or 2019, we got the bright idea of doing a fall festival and uh, planting a corn maze and uh, did not, pumpkins, we planted pumpkins also. Had a, you pick pumpkin patch, you know, where the kids come out and pick the pumpkin and they go on a hayride and, and then we take them, you know, around the farm, show them everything that we had planted and growing. And then they go, you know, go in the corn maze and spend 45 minutes to an hour walking around about an eight, nine acre corn maze. and. That, that has been a real, real big thing, especially, especially in is 2020. Is it work or is it fun for you? It's a lot of work, a lot of work. A lot of, 
you know, a lot of people, a lot of, you know, stress keeping up with, you know, all the problems and the issues and just keeping everybody safe and happy. We're, we're, cheaper, right? we're cheaper, yeah, and it's fresh, you know, we pick it every morning. We try to pick what we need for that day. We do the blackberries, the blueberries, the strawberries. We do you pick, and we may do a few you pick tomatoes this year, we haven't decided. But mo most of it we pick and just bring in the store here and the customers just pick it up as they need it. We took our signature sandwich and cranked it up to 11. With bacon and cheese, it's the new Signature Club, remixed by Zaxby's. So our goats, my brother and I actually started out in 4-H many years ago. I think I started when I was five. Um, you have to be five in order to start, so Tyler had to wait till he turned of age. Um, and we actually started raising pigs for the um, swine project and then we got into the goats um, and then we just kind of one year my weather project passed away unexpectedly and I had to go buy a nanny um, so I could still participate in show participate in the scholarship program well we kept the nanny and then our neighbor brought us uh, several bottle babies over the years and we just bottle fed the babies and then we throw them out in the pasture and now they're just pets that everybody can come pet, feed, love on, take pictures with. Subscribe to our channel, Pearl TV SC, so you don't miss a single episode of Proud to be a South Carolina Farmer. Proud to be a South Carolina Farmer is made possible by Stokes Automotive Group, Zaxby's, Holy City Brewing Company, Joy Law Firm, just call Joy. In Carolina. Carolina. Hi, I'm Eddie Stokes with Stokes Automotive Group, and we are excited to be a sponsor for Proud to be a South Carolina Farmer. Lunch dates and coffee. come out, plus they get quality family time with each other. Um, we have the playground area, they can bring a picnic lunch out here, sit at the picnic tables, just come out here and just enjoy it. Yep, kids can run around, don't have to worry about nothing going on, you know, mom and dad can relax and the kids just have a ball. The cornfield, the sunflower field, all of us the same way, and just making memories, that way they can go back and look and say, hey, look what I did when I was three or four years old, you know, show the kids, you know, once they grow up. Yeah, this is where we went to pick strawberries. This is where we went to the pumpkin patch and all. So yeah, there's lots of photos that go on out here. Yep, I've got birthday parties that come out here, especially little kids. They love to have pictures taken with Charlie, all the animals out there. And just, whenever a lot of our vegetables start coming in, uh, my customers ask, hey, do you have like a, a farm box or a CSA box that we can purchase? And what that is, it's a variety of all of our vegetables that we grow. Um, we do two different size boxes. We do a small box and a large box, so it depends on the size of the family as to how much produce they need. And we do it as, we do it as many times as they need us to. Um, and we'll just use whatever, whatever we got coming in. They'll take it, and sometimes that's a challenge. You know, we got stuff that, say somebody don't like cabbage. But if we put a cabbage in there, that gives them the incentive to look up a new recipe to be able to cook it and try something different. Now he's you know he's been around it all his life, so you know, but you know he's a good mechanic, good diesel mechanic, and you know, we over the years helped me work on stuff and and then you know go to school for welding and all that. Oh, 
and then you know when the corona hit the, the job that he had you know working at a fabrication shop you know they shut the plant down he he's not one to sit around and do nothing so uh i still had all the farm equipment from you know where i quit farming and uh he he picked it back up and started farming so he's he's farming full time and then he does he's pretty much welding full time also between the two keeps him busy so i'm hoping one day him or the daughter one will take over this nonsense and me and mom can retire Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, Pearl TV SC, and enjoy all of the episodes of How to Be a South Carolina Farmer. And don't forget to support the farmers in your community year round. Proud to be a South Carolina Farmer is made possible by Stokes Automotive Group, Zaxby's, Holy City Brewing Company, Joy Law Firm, just call Joy. In Carolina Carolina When people think of a lawyer, they picture someone in a flashy suit in a stuffy office. Well, here's a picture for you. This is where I grew up. It wasn't always easy, but I'm proud of my humble roots. It's where I learned to work through the tough times and appreciate what I have. At the Joy Law Firm, we're helping people going through tough times of their own. If you've been injured, call the law firm that understands what you're going through. Just call Joy, 843-888-8888.